All right, welcome to the channel, everybody. OGL Schmidt here. You are watching Custom Creator. Uh, it's been a while since we've uh, reacted to four. We uh, did a reaction to the most recent Nightwish uh, video, a Perfume of the Timeless, which was definitely a promising uh, preview for the new album, which uh, will be coming out, I think, in September. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Nightwish has released some making ofs, and uh, four recently released this interview. It talks about surviving modern stress with an ancient brain. Uh, that sounds like it's right down Danny and I's alley. So we're going to give this a shot. It's just something short, something fun, and something for all the uh, four fans out there. And we'll definitely be returning to some more of her, uh, her music. Now, there's some solo work we haven't done, some more after forever. And uh, if we've missed any Nightwish, let us know. So we're going to try this interview out, see what uh, four has to say. Uh, obviously, she's been very successful, but she's also had to learn the hard way. Uh, I think after uh, she was. Actually, I don't think she was hospitalized, but she had to take time off touring and uh, even teaching uh, because she suffered from severe burnout. I think she also was hospitalized earlier, like maybe a year or so ago, uh, just essentially touring too much, even while pregnant. So uh, she's feisty and tenacious. But yeah, let's, uh, let's see what she's learned about surviving modern stress with an ancient brain. Danny will be here shortly. And yeah, let's... Uh, Let's appreciate how awesome four is together. All right. Hello, Nightwish, Floor Hanson fans. I noticed real quick that when you try to Google or talk to text in anything, YouTube, Floor Hanson or Taria, that you have to say Jansen or Tarja, <laughs> unless it's called this in English, to get it to come up, and that pisses me off. I try to speak it correctly and it won't let me. Anyway, we'll get back to it. Sorry, just wanted to point that out. But they make us talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Coffee Questions and Answers. Grab your coffee. Today we're going to talk about the one thing we can never have enough of. Time. You know, time is a funny thing. It's the only thing that moves forward constantly, but we always find ourselves looking back at it. Like that time I decided to wear um, neon yellow dungarees. Huge model, terrible thing. I just, well, <clears throat> anyway, seriously, some things are just better left in the past. <laughs> but did you ever think about how we ever came up with the concept of time? Picture this. It's the 1800s and people are just figuring out how to coordinate things like train schedules. Enter Sir Sanford Fleming, a Canadian railway planner who thought maybe we should actually standardize time. So because before that, every town had its own local time based on the sun's position. So imagine trying to schedule anything. Yes, let's have coffee at three. Your time, my time. Did you know that the human brain did not evolved significantly the last 12,000 years. Uh, things are happening, don't worry, but if you think about the evolution of it, uh, it's, it's not that much, but we lived a completely different life, a shorter one and one with much lower input level. We maybe met a handful of new people in a lifetime and our survival depending on the fast release of stress hormones in our body. No watches, no phones, no jobs to combine with an actual social uh, life. Um, kids, hobbies, a garden, the perfect care of your car, nails, on and on and on and on. I mean, no wonder many of us actually struggle in modern life. Um, the pressure. I like this. Um, I, uh, I would just like to point out that I think she's talking about the accepted timeline of people because I think there are many references to ancient people who live much much longer lives and uh that there was but yes i think she's talking about just strictly twelve thousand years since the last ice age or whatever to you know ancient samaria up the accepted timeline so other than that yeah she's absolutely right time was not standardized till the year she said i forget and it was a, it was a problem for 
and I think railways are what, yeah, and my dad drove a train, so very interesting, yeah, yeah. I like it. The railways were the first thing that essentially, uh, you know, linked the world. Connected, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's first also interesting, that, <laughs> it is even weird to think like now, like it's hard to remember, it's just hard, but you remember back in the, uh, you know, like when I was younger, it's like there's no internet, there's no, like, there's no, uh, even things like, yeah, like even things like my PlayStation 5, where I've got video games from like every different era, like that wasn't there. You either had your Atari 2600 with the carpal tunnel inducing joystick, or you went to an arcade and spent, you know, whatever money your <laughs> your parents would be willing to let you to get quarters to play. Uh, yeah, just much, uh, I guess maybe slower paced, it felt, uh, much less cluttered. Um, I guess one could say and even maybe, a while before a two player game became simultaneous, right? Yeah. Most two player games yeah. just had take turns. It's, Second person's turn yeah. now. They weren't yeah. like getting there and play together, let alone play yeah, online with five million damn people. Yeah, that's why a lot of times you just would go outside and look for stuff to do. And sometimes that was crazy stuff. Sometimes sometimes it was six, just... man, in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember my dad covering me fun. a sword out of wood that would just, you know, fight imaginary uh, enemies in the barnyard. So, yeah, it, I, I like what you're talking about. the just... kid plays with the boxes more than the toys. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah, even pretty big on them. So think about you know what happens before TV even came about, or what happened before yeah, radio. I that. Like, yeah, <laughs> so like think about how much how compressed society was. But on the other hand, you only had the worries of that one area as well. So that's you know there's the joys of the world are connected now, but so are the the stress levels, the tragedies. So. <laughs> <Your face>. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, and. Yeah, it can be good and bad. I mean, there's lots of different points to look at it. Uh, we wouldn't be talking to everyone that's listening to this right now if it wasn't for it. But it's, yeah, um, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's you and I would uh, have the friendship that we do if it weren't for uh, technology. So I will quote an American soap opera like, Stand to the hourglass. Which <laughs> These are the days of our lives. Our, no <laughs> doubt. Fucking okay, so shit. Uh, I like that saying. One with much lower input level. We maybe met a handful of new people in a lifetime and our survival depending on the fast release of stress hormones in our body. No watches, no phones, no jobs to combine with an actual social uh, life, um, kids, hobbies, a garden, the perfect care of your car, nails, on and on and on and on. I mean, no wonder many of us actually struggle in modern life. Um, the pressure is crazy high. The release of those stress hormones isn't a constant. No more lions or wolves for the most of us, though, but the way we perceive time with that same brain is interesting, to say the least. But since we can't actually sit around the timeline, we're stuck with the here and the now. And maybe that's a good thing. It forces us to make the best out of the time that we have. Have you ever noticed how productive you can get when there's a deadline looming? It's like your brain goes into overdrive, finding extra minutes you didn't even know existed. Here's a fun challenge for you. Try setting a timer for one hour and focus on only one thing, only one task without distractions. You'll be amazed at how much you can get done. It's like unlocking a secret superpower. And while we're... Hey, you're not muted, but I can't hear you, brother. So we got a premiere right now. She just reminded me that right now I'm premiering yeah. Neil Young. Hold on, station notification. So thank you, Floor Yes, and we just went into the premiere. <laughs> We're back now. <laughs> that was like the perfect time to have this time. I mean, <laughs> that was fucking crazy to be honest with you. Fucking mental. <laughs> uh, I I don't want to toot our horn or or you know sound arrogant, but. On what other channel are the reactors going to pause a reaction, go to attend their own premiere that they'd forgotten <laughs> that they about, forgot, and, yeah. and then come back to finish with it, and then be honest about what happened? <laughs> During a fucking video about time and remembering shit. And it was Cinnamon Girl, and I think I see Cinnamon sitting on the fucking... <laughs> Hell yeah. Sorry. All right, we're back. All right, yeah. Floor. Thank you very much, Floor Jensen. Jansen, whatever the fuck, floor is, yes. <laughs> Let's hear that one more time, what reminded us. <laughs> Thing. Only one task without distractions. 
you'll be amazed at how much you can get done. It's like yeah, yeah. unlocking a secret superpower. And while we're on the topic of productivity, it's important to remember that downtime is just as valuable. Some of the best ideas come when we're not actively trying to think of them. Like those, ah, yes, bling, moments in the shower or when you're drifting off to sleep. So don't feel guilty about taking a break. It's all part of the balance. Well, look at that. Our time together is almost up. Yep. And just like that, our time together is up. It always goes faster with you guys. Even it always does. So thank you so much for watching, be, being a member. And did I fast forward? I thought I'd put it back. What the hell, man? Anyway, sorry. Let's rewatch the inside. The way we perceive time with that same brain is interesting to say the least. But since we can't actually sit around the timeline, we're stuck with the here and the now. And maybe that's a good thing. It forces us to make the best out of the time that we have. Have you ever noticed how productive you can get when there's a deadline looming? It's like your brain goes into overdrive, finding extra minutes you didn't even know existed. Here's a fun challenge for you. Try setting a timer for one hour and focus on only one thing, only one task without distractions. You'll be amazed at how much you can get done. Because I told Greg, I was like, they like set a timer and you're at 145, don't let us get past that. Um, your timer's broke. <laughs> okay, clearly I failed. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to subscribe to the show. I didn't know she had this, so this is pretty cool. I, I, I'm assuming it's about cooking and stuff, maybe not, but I like kitchens, I like floor, I like talking, so sounds good. Not kitchen floors, but... <laughs> It's like unlocking a secret superpower. And while we're on the topic of productivity, it's important to remember that downtime is just as valuable. Some of the best ideas come when we're not actively trying to think of them. Like those, ah, yes, bling, moments in the shower or when you're drifting off to sleep. So don't feel guilty about taking a break. It's all part of the balance. Well, look at that. Our time together is almost up. Yep. And just like that, our time together is up. It always goes faster with you guys. Even it always does. So thank you so much for watching, be, being a member. And I'm looking forward to more of your fantastic questions. I will do my best to answer as many as possible. Time is precious. Remember, you have plenty of it. I try to remind myself every day. Well, there's someone outside taking pictures. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I could not notice that. Remember, you have plenty of it. I try to remind myself every day, <laughs> even when I feel like I don't have any of it. Take a breather. You've got plenty of time. Oof, and just like that, our time together is almost up. If you liked it, click the button. Click for subscribe for more content. And if you want to see... So is this like her, um... Is this like a private Discord or something? Wow, that picture. I mean, you look like that. Before you look good, just... Normal. It was very stern there. I'm not tripping. There was somebody walking outside that window. Maybe I am tripping. Hell, I don't know. But... No, no, I saw someone walking. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Cool. Yes, I saw someone walking. So, um, what I will say is, that's a big ass eyeball, but. <laughs> Shit, I forgot what I was going to say, man. Oh, she's talking about how the time always goes faster with you guys. So, like, besides the way me and Greg do these, if we do a reaction by ourselves, like right now, there's only us. You're not, you're not here. It's just us right now. So I think it's a great example of the time. Because I always, I have a little short on here like, are we time travelers? Because I'm talking to nobody right now. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of people talking back to me. And you might see this from three years from now. You know? So, yeah, it's a really weird thing to think about time. Um, a tool, to give my tool plug, um, thinking in general takes you out of the present moment. Overthinking, overanalyzing separates your body from your mind. Because you can't think about the present moment. You can, I just did, but it's gone. <laughs> now, now it's an ancient thought. So best moments in life are spent when you're not worried about time, in my opinion. And I always yeah. say stop counting the days, make the days count. So I love her message one hundred percent. I do think that um for instance, uh I think there is knowledge and joy to be found in the past. I think there is hope 
to be found in the future. I also think that most of our anxiety comes from worrying too much about the future and uh, a lot of our uh, disappointment or um, depression sometimes comes from thinking too much about the past. So you have to learn how to utilize essentially the whole time stream in a positive way. Just you know, That's focus on the present. Yeah. yeah. The, the thinking about the future can bring anxiety, and thinking about the past mm. makes depression. Yeah, yeah that's actually but sometimes it, you know it can also help you focus. It can help you, you know, it's like okay, things are bad now, but you know, if I keep staying the course, boom, yeah, you know, just like you know, when we first started the channel, it's like okay, we got two hundred subs, but you know we're gonna keep staying the course, and you know we're at uh, twenty two hundred now. So thank you all very much, by the way, thank we you appreciate all. that. But yeah, four is awesome. She's uh, you know, just she's been around for a, for a while. Uh, you know, toured the world. Just an incredible singer. Very cool human being. Uh, looking forward to the new Nightwish album. Uh, yeah, more four reactions coming soon, guys. Now, the new, the new Nightwish? No, September. Just September. that one song that we did? Yep, yep. The cool last video. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Check that was out. an amazing video. So, yeah, All guys, right. let us know. But talk to us in the comments. Tell us what you think about time. Maybe some, tell us some more songs about time you would like us to react to. That'd be kind of fun. And uh, I think yeah. um, I think my favorite would be Time by Pink Floyd. Those are amazing. Pink Floyd, yeah. Like I the, love yeah. I love Invincible by Tool. There are a lot of really cool songs about Time. Yeah. Steve Miller Band, Time keeps on slipping into the future. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of good, cool songs. Let us know what you like. And um, the the Pendulum song by Maywish. Clock and the Pendulum. Oh, the Pendulum, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh sorry, sorry. Yeah, clock. Think about the damn alarm clock again. <laughs> This was the craziest video maybe ever. This <laughs> was insane. The premiere. No doubt. So, yeah. Um, but to quote country artists, it might be crazy, but it kept me from going insane. So, <laughs> much love.